Welcome to part three of Mold, Why So Serious. I'm Scott with Lightning Restoration, and today I want to talk about mold blooms. So if you're not living in an area where there's high humidity or you don't have a very tropical environment, you're probably not very familiar with mold blooms. But here on the Gulf Coast of Florida, we're very familiar with them because they're extremely common. They happen all the time. Now, what exactly is a mold bloom? Well, imagine going into a property, whether it be a commercial property or residential, and literally seeing mold growing on every surface. It's in the AC system growing through the ducts. It's on all the walls growing down. It's on the cabinets. You see all this stuff behind me on these shelves, those boxing gloves, those pictures, that trophy. Literally everything has mold growing on it. I've actually been in a house before where I saw the actual surface of a metal refrigerator or steel refrigerator that had mold growing on it. Now, that kind of contradicts what we talked about in the past video because we said that in order for mold to grow, it has to have a dead organic uh, material as a food source. Well, I'll explain that in just a little bit. But first, I want to talk about what would actually cause a mold bloom to happen. So typically we have one or two scenarios. The first scenario being we had some kind of water occurrence, some kind of water loss inside that property that went unchecked. And because it went unchecked, we had increased humidity levels in there. And those humidity levels reacted with the actual spores that are in the property. Because if you remember correctly, mold is ubiquitous. It's everywhere. It's all in this office here with me. So all you have to do is have that increased humidity and it will react with those spores and it will start growing. The second scenario is typically where someone is not utilizing their AC system at all or they're utilizing it incorrectly and they're keeping their AC too high or like I said they're not keeping it on at all for longer periods of time which causes an increase in humidity in that property which causes the actual mold to grow because there's all this moisture there all this excessive moisture. Typically you want to keep humidity levels in your property below 60 percent anything above 60 percent relative humidity lends itself to mold growth and the reason why is because it's so heavy in the air that it literally sticks on all the surfaces and just like on the outside of a cold coke can you get the condensation now if you've got that on a surface of a wall or a cabinet or like a refrigerator where we were talking about before what you get is you get sustained moisture. And when you have sustained moisture over a long period of time, you get bacteria growth. And then when that bacteria grows in that water, it lives, it dies, it eats, all those things. That actually becomes the food source for the mold, which allows it to grow on any of those surfaces. So as you can imagine, with a surface or with a property with mold growing on every single surface, on every single thing in there, there's going to be a lot of things that we can save and a lot of things that we can't. But either way, it becomes an extremely expensive process, whether it be through replacement or through the remediation and cleaning of everything. So our objective always is to save and salvage as much as we can. So we do exactly that without putting anybody in that property at risk from future mold contamination. So if that's something you have questions about or anything that you want to inquire with lightning restoration when it comes to mold, water, or fire damage, please give us a call. You can reach us at 855-850-LTNG. Or you can reach us on the web at lightningrestore.com. Be safe out there.